it got to the point to where um, I could not drive at night anymore. I could not drive with glasses, without glasses, with contacts, nothing. In the accounting, you have to be exact. So, and maybe a six and an eight, or a nine and an eight can be a problem. Everything we do in life, so much of it is visually uh, related. And to me, you know, because I enjoy doing so many things, it would be very scary to lose the vision that you do have or to have it worsen where it would make it hard for you to live. I thought that I could have cataract when I began to have more difficulties driving at night. I had gotten to the point where I was not very confident in riding my bike anymore because I was afraid that I'd run into something. You could say, oh gosh, that's probably Mary, but maybe it's not, you know. But you waved anyway. As we age, so do our eyes. In time, everyone develops cataracts. Cataracts are a clouding of your eye's lens that could impair your vision in a number of ways. You couldn't read street signs until you got right on top of them. I like to play golf a couple days a week. It was challenging sometimes to know exactly where the ball was. Colors were not as bright as they should have been or as they were for me at one time. The door of my home is not beige. <laughs> Mustard. <laughs> Millions of Americans who have cataracts also have astigmatism. When I was growing up, I had 20-20 vision. It was sometime after high school, I started to wear glasses for astigmatism. Astigmatism, as I understand it, is, I believe, your eye is supposed to be shaped round. Astigmatism, it's shaped like a football and that does impair your vision. When I went to contacts, it was much nicer as far as appearance, but the maintenance is a pain in the neck. And the astigmatic contact lenses were very expensive. I always heard when you have cataract, you have to wait until it is bigger or or you are completely cloudy. And uh, that's not true. I was nervous. I think you have to be. I mean, whenever your eyesight is affected. But uh, you have to have confidence in the doctor. The only way to correct cataracts is with surgery. The good news is that cataract surgery is one of the safest and most effective procedures performed today. Your doctor will make a tiny incision in your eye using an instrument about the size of a pen tip to gently separate and remove the cataract. Once it's removed, a new lens is inserted that unfolds into its permanent position. He explained this same day procedure. First they do one eye, and then the following week they do the second eye. And you just need somebody to drive you, because you can't drive, obviously, that day. You go in and they give you the pre-op, they give you a uh, intravenous, and um, put all kinds of drops and everything in your eye. The doctor comes in, explains what he's going to do, and it was very pleasant. You know, you don't even feel anything. Then the next morning, I was able to drive to the doctor myself, if you can imagine. And uh, he just checks to make sure the surgery had gone well. If you want to be less dependent on glasses after surgery, you'll need to correct your cataracts and your astigmatism. Fortunately, there's now a lens that lets you do both at the same time, Acrosoft Toric. If you have the surgery for the cataracts and you have a toric lens put in, you're doing both. You're having your astigmatism corrected as well as having the cataracts removed. The breakthrough Acrosoft toric lens works with the abnormal curvature of your eye to correct the blur caused by astigmatism as well as the fog caused by cataracts. I was so excited, I, I am still excited with the results because I love th see things 
like they are. I think driving at night after surgery was probably the way it was when I was 20 years old. Uh, you didn't have that halo effect. Everything was sharper. I could read the, you know, the exit signs quicker. When I had the toric lens put in, I noticed the difference almost immediately. Funny thing is that for weeks, and I mean weeks, after I had this procedure, every time I would go to do something, I'd start to reach for my glasses because I was so used to wearing the glasses that, and then I'd stop and I'd say, wait a minute, you don't need those. It was really amazing to see things, details that I have missed so many years. I have two cats and I am amazed at the first time that, I mean, I saw it, thought I always saw everything on the cats, but actually seeing the fur, the way the, the actual fur grows, I did not realize that I wasn't able to see that before. If you have cataracts and astigmatism, your doctor will help you decide if the Acrosoft Torque lens is right for you. I love to go to the beach. I like to swim. When you are swimming, you cannot wear glasses. That riding the bike, it's made a big difference. All my confidence has come back. The Torque lens has been really, I, I don't know, I can't say enough good about it. I think you become accepting of what you're seeing and you don't really know what the opportunities are to make it better until you actually have it done. Maybe someday they will uh, make a surgery, a different surgery to make you feel 100% younger. But 